I've restored the butcher block kitchen worktop on the narrowboat, I think it, the next thing to do is really crack on with polishing or trying to get rid of all the scratches in the stainless steel sink. I was going to chuck this out. A lot of you in my narrowboat tour video a few months ago said you can just polish it. So that's what I'm going to try your methods. Okay, so as usual, you'll find all the links to everything that I use below. But there is a couple of things gifted here. The silver line machine buffer, I'll show you how I get on with it, and the tough built knife. But many of you recommended the autosol, a metal polish paste, and some buffing balls. So I'm going to try a few of them and let you know how I get on. Also, someone recommended sif and raw sugar, although I'd already tested that, it didn't quite work for me, but caster sugar might be better. Anyway, I needed to clean this first. The other thing I really wasn't keen on was this white silicon. It was really patchy looking and it showed all of the dirt. And that's the first thing I worked on, is removing it all with that knife. So the metal polish is like a toothpaste. And I applied a bit on the buffer. This sponge, by the way, is a spare one that I bought. It does come with lots of different attachments. I got this one from Tool Station. And I applied it on a medium speed. And I don't know how normal this is, but that's how many seconds it took to come out black. I don't know if that is just dirt or the stainless steel layer has come off. I also recommend definitely turning off your water, just in case. It was definitely a lot of fun, but then I thought it's probably best to masking tape the worktop, particularly since I've restored it recently. Then back to polishing. Now the problem I found with the polisher's sponge attachment, and that's the original one and a replacement one that I bought, is that if you accidentally catch it on something slightly abrasive, it can easily rip it into shreds. But it was my favourite quickest tool out of all of them. And I had spares, but I thought, I don't want this to happen again. Let's try the buffing balls that some of you had mentioned. Now the thing that I prefer about this, although you are working in a smaller area at any one time, can work easier in the awkward areas, like the corners and the actual drain part, but it does take longer. So whilst I'm doing that, I'd like to say thanks to my Patreons for your continued support and allowing me to produce free content every week. If you want to join the Cool Kids and get access to some exclusive content like bloopers from this video, because there's a lot, I'll leave a link below. So let's do a bit of degreasing and see how it's coming on. The cleaning seems to be never ending. There's a lot of black tissues in my bin. And this job roughly took, I would say, about an hour to polish it all. And I only used one battery for it as well. That's mixed in with the buffer machine. Now I'm sure I'm going to get another debate like I did sealing my UPVC door. I asked online recently whether you'd use clear or brown silicon. I had mixed answers and I decided to go for clear because any messes get blended in. I made sure I masking taped everything for that. Ran a bead all the way around. I wasn't too concerned about getting it on the sink itself because I've got a trick up my sleeve and that's once you've applied it, give everything a spritz with washing up liquid solution, then when you're removing all the excess, it easily glides off. But before it's set, I removed the masking tape off the worktop and left it to set before I used it. So let's have a look at the before again. And this is the after. Anyway, if you do anything differently, feel free to let me know below and hopefully I'll catch you in my next one.